today I got a great story for you. I got a story how I got this amazing movie of Mark One in a deal. And I got a story how I got a 1973 Fender Jazz Bass, 100% original except the tone control. I mean, actually, the tone control is original too, it's just this, this button here. So I'm gonna tell you how I got this for, you will not believe how much I paid. Less than a square, I just say. Watch the video, and if you do, at the end, at the end, we finally will give away this long-awaited t-shirt from last video. We will draw somebody out from the comments and we will send it to you. You know which one I mean, right? That's the one. Hey, there you are. I'll be back in one and a half seconds. So, first one. Mesa Boogie Mark One. Reissue from about 2008. I mean, research about those amps, learn about it. This is a great amp. And I think they were no like $2,000 or so. I'm going on offer up like I do every morning and check. I put certain keywords in. I find this amplifier advertised for $225. I immediately text those guys, email, message, message them on offer up. It was a pawn shop and say I would like to buy this. So she comes back with the address, pawn shop I know, I'm very familiar with it, even with the people in there. And I said, okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes. I go there, I walk into the store, a couple of people there I already know, and right away they see me coming in, oh Gunther, it's you. You want to buy this? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take it. I mean, I look at it, it is in nice condition. Uh, <clears throat> I did plug it in and it powered up. That's all I could tell there, but I knew the parts alone. I mean, for $225, you need to buy this. And, and I did. However, she said, uh, she said to me, well, you know, I have another one. So I'm thinking, okay, she's gonna come out with some, you know, some cheap, cheap uh, Behringer or whatever. She has another amp, you know. Look at this. She comes out from the back and brings me this. Now you got two. Two for 225. Two for 225. And this is something I shouldn't say. Because I'm probably getting bad comments again. But I offered lower. I offered lower. I couldn't help it. Because I said, this situation was so, you know, this is so cheap that it doesn't matter anymore. They had the yellow stick on it. They wanted to get rid of it. They wanted it out of inventory. Uh, it was all marked as is. I plugged this in. It works. It, it powers up. I buy it. Then she says, I got, also got two pedals in the same deal. She comes out with a Mutron, Mutron phaser, uh, 70s, you know, the ones you plug in. She comes out with an Electro Harmony, uh, I think it was a cent or so. Both are already sold on, on eBay. The whole deal, the whole deal, I bought for $250 out the door. I'm sorry I have no footage of that because, you know, I can't walk in and, and film that because the deal. However, you guys all know what the hems are worth and actually yeah, on my eBay account, Dennis Hoda uh, from Storage Wars, that's my eBay account. Oh, I put you a link in the, in the description and they are for sale and they are very, very, very cheap. I, I put each on for 999. I tried them on bass and they sound pretty good as long as you don't have to turn up the volume. I, I, I bet they are good for recording and I might even try it if I don't sell them. But, uh, however, uh, they, are, they are tube amps. So you, you can research about those amplifiers, but I tell you one thing, if you can grab one for a grade of those, you really should do it. That's the amplifiers. At the end of the video we have a drawing for a shirt like this. 
So hang around. But I show you something you're really gonna enjoy. That that is watch this. I go to the flea market, the secret flea market. Remember that? We have another video of that on Boulder Highway here in Las Vegas. One of my favorites. You can go there for weeks and there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Very trashy. And then one time you go there and you just hit it, thousands of dollars. I bought HP um, uh, laboratory uh, uh, equipment, you know. Not oscilloscopes, but I don't even know what they call it. They, they all have those used it, but they go like 3,500 each and stuff. I bought a whole table. The guy had a whole table full of those electronics and I paid $400 for everything. And I, I made thousands of dollars. So one day I go there and uh, this gentleman has set up and he has all kinds of triangles and cowbells and little bit musical instruments, but nothing special, you know. And uh, I started a conversation with him, very, very nice guy. And uh, he, he, we were talking about bass playing. He told me that he is a hobby bass player in, in, the, in the 70s. He played a little bit, now he doesn't anymore. And I told him, I collect bass guitars and I'm a bass player and blah, blah, blah. And he says, oh, I, I still got my bass though. And I go, oh, so what do you got? He says, well, I, I got a 73 Fender Jazz Bass. That to me is like, I don't know how you guys are in the, but to me this is like, uh, you know, alarm uh, everywhere, you know. Beep, 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 beep. 73 Fender Jazz Bass, I want to buy it. So I asked him, so what, what are you doing with it? He said, oh, well, it's a part now, it's in storage. Storage, oh my God, 110 degrees in the shade in Vegas. Everything dried out. So I said, so, you know, uh, how can I see, can I see? Well, it's up the road, just it's up the street in storage. If you, if you want to buy it, I'll sell it. Uh, we can go there. So I said, yeah, I'll follow you with my car. We go there, we go to the storage facility. He opens the storage locker and boom, this was all the way on top. I just, by the case, just looking at the case, I knew he was telling the truth. So I take the case down. He, he wasn't big enough, it was all the way up. So I took it down. And I open it, just like this. Bingo. Here it is. 1973, 100% original. Bridge, pickups, neck. Everything is right on this base. The only thing is the tone button that wasn't there. And I replaced it. I had everything open on this base, the ports, CTS-137, everything is how it's supposed to be and everything is in pretty good condition. It's not my favorite color, I don't like those natural pieces too much, but hey, I'm not complaining. So, <clears throat> it also is, it has the ashtray here, came with the ashtray, and the thumb rest, and he it was completely apart though, it wasn't like this. Uh, and he told me that he bought it second hand in 1983. And, and ever since he owns it, he bought it in 1983, ever since he owns it. Never really played bigger gigs. He's a singer-songwriter type of person, very, very nice guy. I'm, I never heard him playing, but I'm sure he's very talented. However, I told him, so, you want to sell this? Said, yeah, I'll sell it. I said, this is nothing. I'm doing, I mean, he, he, he is leaving the country, I guess, uh, you know. And he actually, he was very nice. He asked me to, to use me as reference for his new job. Uh, so he, I gave him my phone number so that he can call me that. I know him, you know how those things go. So I did all that. And, and I said, well, how much you want for him? Well, it was a little bit negotiable. But however, it turns out, he says, listen, I paid $200 in 1983 for this. It's a part now. I just want my money back. I mean, I'm not trying to explain the way of thinking, but anyways, that's what he said. 
well, you know what I did now. I mean, no explanation, no explanation need for that. However, this is a great piece and, and I love this piece and, and I paid him what he wanted. I, I, I didn't try to get him down or, you know, I paid sticker pay. I mean, if somebody asked me that. So he was perfectly happy with it. I mean, that's what we do. I know there's going to be some comments, say, oh, you should have given more. No, that's what we do, you know. Uh, uh, somebody wants to sell something, every pawn shop does the same thing. A pawn shop will give you pennies on the dollar. And uh, we, we buy storage auctions. We do all the second-hand business, that's what we do. We buy it low and we sell it high, or in something in the middle. That, that's how it goes. And if somebody doesn't research on the items they have, if you want two hundred dollars, here's two hundred dollars. No problem. I'll buy it. I own it now. I'm very happy with it, and I think you like it too. So one of these days, I'm going to use it on stage. I don't think I have it for a while. So it took me a while to make this video, but uh, I don't think I used it. I might have played one gig with it or so. It sounds amazing, and I actually should preserve it. Should make sure uh, it stays like that. The frets are original, and th there's no problems. However. Last video, we promised you, Ricky and me, my son, uh, you should check out his new, he has a new YouTube now, it's Storage Pickers. I'll put your link there. And uh, we promised you to give you, give you a t-shirt if you answer a question which, which was in the comments, and you did. So, we will raffle off this t-shirt right now. So here we go. First comment. And they all are right, otherwise we wouldn't have him in this pot here. Thank you, Gunter. Finally something for the ladies to look at. I don't know what she means with that, but who is that? The men have cases. Beep. Now we have your beautiful hair to drool over. This is a great comment. Thanks again and good luck. And the question is answered right. So, shout out to a lost Isbel. A lost Isbel. I think that's, that's the name. Never heard that name, a lost. But, you know, Isbel. No, Isbel is the name, not a lost. I'm a little bit confused. Actually, I'm blushing, you know. Okay, thanks. Isbel is the first in the pot. Let's see what else we got. Indie Discs. If you have a double X t-shirt, would you send it to me to Ireland? You know what, for you I walk it there. Before summer ends. Sure. In the next two weeks. That was seven months ago. So, I don't need to think about this anymore, but now I ruffle it. And you know what? If you win it, I'll send it to Ireland. Why not? Okay. Mark Lawton. Right answer. Oceanic Neoclassic Diving Boot. You know it. Good one, Mark. Great answer, 100% correct, you go in the pot. Michael Edwards, Oceanic Classic Diving Boots. Good. Oceanic Neo Classic. Sir Necromancer. What, what's a Necromancer? Like Dracula? Ah! Okay. Sorry. In the pot. Losing my bandana. That's okay. Scott Reynolds, hey, there you are, love your videos, I'll take a shirt, I knew you would, it's great, you see, who? I hope you win it, uh, you know, Susan Mesa, shout out to Susan Mesa, very nice video, you got some nice things in there, love your shirts, oceanic boots with bag. Oh, you really went into detail here, huh? Okay, we will consider you in the pot. 
Rita Taylor. That's a cool name. Rita Taylor. That sounds like 40s, like, like you know, like Doris Day and, and Rita Taylor, like a, like a 40s movie star. That's how it sounds. I can picture that, you know. Hey, there you are. Great one, Rita. You pay attention. I know already. I would love to rock one of these t-shirts. Hey. <laughs> Miss seeing you in Havasu, Kanta. So, I was in Havasu several times. I played a couple of gigs there too. That's probably where you've seen me. And yeah, I would love to see you again. It's a little bit slow in the business right now, you know, with all that stuff, but but I love Lake Havasu. Daryl lives or is most of the time there. Lots of times there. Sometimes. Camino what? This is Spanish. I okay. Oh, 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 I know who that is. This is this. I love that lady. She's so nice. Camino al Despotar de la Conciencia Bailey. I hope I didn't say that wrong, but I know I did. So, so I'm very sorry. I, I need to freshen up my Spanish a little bit, which I never had. So, uh, she says, hey, there you are. That is a, a, one of my greatest fans. I, I never, uh, I don't know her, but great person. Anyways. Oh, Rita Taylor commented twice. I remember your name. Aha, we can do that. Miguel Cotri, God, God bless you and your family always. Thank you. That's nice. And we all need it at the moment, I guess. Another great video. Keep sending those great videos and blessings to all of you always. So, Miguel, blessings to you as well. From the bottom of my heart and, and from all of my family. Thanks for writing this and I hope you win it. Coin, coin you dig it. What does that mean? Coin you dig it. You're going like with one of those metal detectors around and and dig for coins. You know, I bought a long time ago uh, for my ex-wife. I bought. She was into that stuff, and I bought like a sixteen hundred dollar gold uh, uh, metal detector. You know, and I ca I don't have it here, but we have a uh, we have a collection of two thousand eight hundred and seventy two bottle caps. That's all we found. Bottle caps. So that's what metal detectors to me are for, but just reminded me. Oceanic Neoclassic Diving Boots, great. Stephen Smith. I can't read this, but I assume it's the right answer. I know who Stephen Smith is. He's a very guy, nice guy. He wrote a great book and he hangs on Twitter and he has a podcast and Shout out to you, Stephen Smith. Check him out. I'm, I'm sure he has maybe some YouTube, but I know he's, he's on Twitter and he, he watches the show. Stephen Smith, thank you. Sandra Carter. Oceanic Nessel. Good one, Sandra. Right answer. You in the pot. Granny Doe. Oceanic, black size. Wow, he mentioned in a mesh bag. Model number one, size 6.5 men. You pay attention. You, I can't get, get anything by you. I better be careful. Very good answer. Right answer. Josefina. Heart, prayers, cross. Great. Great, Josefina. Put you in the pot. Glenn Ewell. Oceanic Boots. That is right. When you, when, you, when you do something wrong, you know, and they, they put you in court, you know, for the hearing and stuff. Remember when they ask people, you know, go, correct, 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 but me nuts. You know, it's worse than jail. I'd rather go to jail, just, you know, just, okay, whatever, you know, don't do that. Correct, 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 drives me nuts. Mr. Sadie. Hey, nice job, boys. Hell far. Very nice. Bargain Hunters Drift. We know who that is, right? 
I don't know if he really wants a t-shirt, but hey, he commented. Deborah Weiner, Ocean. Right answer. Right size. Great. Great. Jessica Cummins. Hey, there you are, Oceanic. Neo Classic. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for watching Storage Wars. Thanks for everything. Joey4771. Oceanic. Very good one. Very good one. Hey Gunter, choice video, keep them coming. Sonia Morunga. Sunny Morunga. Keep them coming. I'm tired. No, just kidding. Be making more. Great video and guitars, I like that. Scotty Brown, hey Scotty. Thank you so much. That's one name I don't want. I feel sorry for you, Scott. Everybody, Scotty, beat me up. In you know, if you, if you go in the lift, so imagine you work at the company and, and and they have like twelve stores and there's a lift in there. You have to wear a name tag and you enter the lift and the guy like you know like me sitting in there. What do you think you get, Scotty? Beat me up. Six floor, please. You know, I don't know. Is that name? You in the pot, Scotty? It's, I hope you win. You, I think you deserve it. I really think so. Mike. Make closey. Make close key. I'm sorry, guys. I screw up your names. I know that, but it's okay. Hey, here I am. Oh, I like that. Mike says, "Hey, here I am." I like the way you think, Mike. Very creative. Great. I hope you win it too. Or well, we only have one, so you know we don't we don't turn that much money. So this this look at this this, this is the last one here. So. Joey, four seven seven. Joey, that's your second one. So, but anyways, very nice thing is, is congrats on on five hundred. And there's no answer there, so he just wanted to say something nice. He didn't try to try so don't misunderstand it. I'm just making fun of everybody, including myself. Okay, so here's the tickets, guys, and here's the T-shirts. We will ship this out to you. Uh, of course, we will pay for the shipping. And how you how, how you get the t-shirt? We will put underneath this video now uh, a notice. Uh, if you have a you, uh, uh, if I I might uh, email you to through YouTube too. But you can just go to my Facebook page and send me a message with your address or with your PO box wherever you would like us to send uh, these t-shirts, and we will send it out to you. You also can contact me on Twitter. Or uh, the, on Facebook, there's a, a, a Cantonese Huda fan page. I mean, I'm everywhere. So contact me so you are safe, so you don't have to put your address publicly out there. I don't want you to do that in the first place. So just private message me with your address and tell me tell me that you are the T-shirt the winner. And we mail it out as soon as possible, as fast as two or three years. And, it won't be long, I promise, because uh, just do the drawing took us seven months, so I guess we are not that fast. So here I'm, I will mix that, and uh, I folded them all, so I can't read anything besides that, you know. I'm not blindfolded, but I'm old, so uh, it's, you know, I don't see anything anyways. And I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one, one out, okay. Oh, that's two. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll do it again. It was you, and now I put it back in. Oh, that must hurt. I'm so sorry. So, okay. Now let me make sure I have just one. Here is one. So, Rita Taylor. Rita Taylor. Hey, there you are. I would love to rock one of these t-shirts. Miss seeing you in Havasu. That's great. Well, you know what? I'm I'm in Vegas. I'm not that far away from from Havasu, so I'm sure one of these days I go there again. I also like the flea market there. They have a, I have a video on from Lake Havasu actually about the flea market. They have a great flea market so there. Rita, go to my Facebook page. Go to my Twitter. Go to my fan page on Facebook. Gunter is Hoda fan page. Gunter is Hoda my private uh, private Facebook page. You can message there. You can post there. 
and uh, no, don't post uh, because everybody can see that. So message me, message me privately so nobody knows your address but me. <laughs> uh, and we will ship it to you as soon as possible. Congratulations, Rita Taylor. T-shirt goes to Lake Havasu. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for coming here. And, and thank you. I'll see you soon.